Hey recruiters, in this video I'm going to show you some of my favourite features of Lever. Uh, I will note that this is a demo account so none of the information that I'm showing you here is actually candidate information, it's all demo information. The features that I'm going to show you are the ones that I use the most on, the, on a day to day basis when it came to recruiting for a global tech organisation one that was rapidly growing in multiple countries and when I was also leading a team of up to five recruiters. So that's just a bit of context on on the, the size and structure of the organization, which was uh, over 2,000 people and, you know, the, the team size of, of uh, when I was using Lever. So the first feature that I like the most is what I refer to as instant visibility. So instant visibility across uh, roles, across pipelines, and that's not unique to Lever, but the way I navigate it, I haven't found something so uh, easy to use. So quickly, what I can see here, if you're familiar with Lever or not familiar, is I'm currently under the tabs, the candidates tabs, uh, the candidate tab, uh, feature. So it's showing me all my candidates across different roles and I'm also on the sub tab or what I call it sub tab at the interview stage. So basically right now this is showing me uh, all of the people in the interview process that are under my roles um, and I can see this is across different roles, account exec, account manager, financial analyst. So across uh, why I like being able to see this is you know if I was reporting into someone I could easily access this information and say to a manager look I currently have two people at the offer stage, three in second interview, uh, um, you know, four in first and ten in recruiter screen. So basically, I need to do a little bit more work to to convert people over to later stages. But the pipeline seems to be okay. Now, if a manager was saying, "Okay, how are you doing on the sales side of things?" I could just quickly click the sales roles, and it would show up, and I could say, "Look, I've got no offers on the account execs, so I've got a little bit more work to do." And um, I can also instantly see as well that across these roles, or across all of my roles, if I wanted to click quickly, that I've got thirty-six applicants, which isn't a huge number to, to, to manage. So that's one one um, feature that I enjoy is that kind of instant visibility. Now to take it a level deeper, if I was on the opposite side of, so if I was managing a team, what I also really enjoy being able to do is I can say show all, so I could see everyone's roles, but I can also easily break it down either by team name, location, uh, hiring manager, but in this case, I'm gonna show you owner. Because if I'm uh, leading a team, I want to see how my, my team members are doing. So I could instantly see, I'm going to just deselect me um, and deselect the roles. But if I wanted to see how Angel was doing, I could click Angel and I could say, okay, um, <laughs> Angel currently has no applicants, uh, which is either a good or a bad thing, but no one in the interview process. Um, and that's kind of what's... Uh, uh, really helpful is being able to kind of just quickly say, okay, Corey, uh, how's Corey doing? Um, and again, this is demo information, but being able to, you know, either have a one-on-one -on -one with someone and say, how are you, how are you doing across your roles um, is a feature that I really like. The other option that you can also do uh, and moving on to maybe my um, second uh, most favorite feature is, you know, that ability to communicate across across roles, across departments, but also across team members. So let's say, for example, I'm going to just use my, my, mine in an example. Let's say Sam here, um, let's say this was a, a team member that was act that had actually gone on vacation or was was ill. You know, I could easily go to this person. Let's say Sam. Let's say Sam isn't me. I could easily click Sam. You know, Sam's off sick today, and I could say, okay, these are all the people. So I could say ten in recruiter screen. I could easily s select everyone in recruiter screen across different roles, but under this the one person, and just email them all and just say say update. You know, team illness. Um, uh, if I could spell properly, and say, you know, hi, um, name, um, uh, I'm, you know, say John, uh, Sam's manager. Unfortunately, Sam's off sick today, and he'll probably be back, you know, later in the week or next week. So there is going to be a delay in communication, but just wanted to let you know there's nothing to worry about. I'm going to have, you know, Sam follow up with you as soon as, as, soon he, get, as, soon as he gets better. That uh, is one feature that I use a lot as well. Just the, the ability to review other people's pipelines very quickly, break that down, but also if I wanted to just email everyone across a certain pipeline. I could also select uh, another uh, option. I could actually select everyone's roles and I could say, let's say, you know, we're having a, a team shutdown or a team day off or, you know, we're going into Christmas vacation. People are, are sick or on vacation. You know, very easily I could select 
everyone's roles and I could say, you know, to everyone at the offer stage, I could just email them all and say, look, you know, our team's going on vacation, you know, are your contracts, you know, being prepared or whatnot. Uh, similarly, uh, if I wanted to go to the applicant stages, let's say we're going into a long weekend and we've got some applicants that we haven't reviewed in, in a, a couple of days, I could easily be one person and take responsibility and say, you know, I'm going to email all of the applicants across all of the different roles, across all of the different team members and say, hey, our team's going on a lot, you know, a, a bit behind. We're going on to, to, into a long weekend. Um, we are going to endeavor to get back to you, you know, the day after the long weekend and email everyone. It just, you know, that instant communication across roles, across functions, across interview stages is, is uh, a feature that I used a lot, but also I haven't seen from other ATSs uh, it be that simple for being able to jump into other people's roles. So that was a uh, feature two. So number one was kind of instant visibility across different functions. And then number two was the, the, that kind of instant communication. Now, my third uh, example today of one of my most favorite features and actually what I, I would say is, is what puts Lever above the rest when it comes to hiring for scale and managing you know, a great candidate experience is the ability to rapidly review applications um, bit by bit and also screen candidates. You know, and this is very helpful when you have 20 roles, 200 applicants per roles, and you've got 4,000 candidates. You know, they can be a bit, uh, diff it can be a lot to manage, but I find Lever the best at managing high volume of applications, high volume of roles, and uh, making communication very easy. So the example, or the, the one that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna go to the applicants, and I'm actually gonna deselect. I'm just gonna give you an example using the account manager position. So let's say I was recruiting for an account manager and I had, you know, and, and here what I can see is if I click account manager, I can see I've got, um, my internet's being a bit slow, let me just update this. I can see that I currently have nine new applicants and that I need to go through these. Nine is obviously a very small number. Uh, oftentimes when I was recruiting, I would have 200 plus when it comes to, you know, if we put something up at the weekend, at the weekend you get 200 applicants. And I want to make sure I am able to review each application um, and give it the time it deserves, but also get back to everyone. Now, every ATS has an application review, but what I'm about to show you is what I, I think Lever is a bit of a cut above the rest. Now, uh, I'm going to start at the very bottom here with a this person, Amy, uh, because Amy would have been the person that applied first down at the bottom. Um, and there's two features I'm going to quickly show you here uh, of the same part. Now, very quickly, I can click Amy and I can go to their uh, they go to their profile. This is a demo account, so their resume is not actually here. Um, and the, but I will show you an example of, of mine uh, where you can actually see the, how the information comes up. So let's say Amy, you know, I, I saw let's say I, I saw Amy's resume and I wasn't keen on it and it wasn't a, a direct fit. I could then just go, okay, let's say I'm going to go to the previous applicant, uh, Natalie. Uh, Natalie's is okay, uh, but you know, not a direct fit. But let's say I liked Amanda's profile. I could say, okay, Amanda's got some great experience. I'm going to move Amanda to the recruiter screen stage. And this pulls Amanda out of that pile. And uh, I will go to Arthur. Now, uh, it, it basically goes up this list and it, sh it, it kind of unbolts that candidate. So if I got pulled into a meeting and I came back to application, you know, if I came back to application review, I could see, oh, I actually, you know, paused at Arthur. I can see as I was working up the list, Arthur you know, wasn't a fit or I've already reviewed Arthur's, I can start at Summers. That is a feature that I haven't seen on other application reviews uh, um, for uh, the application review features on other ATS systems is the ability to step out of application review and dive, pick up exactly where you left. Um, uh, the other feature, the other ones that I've seen, you have to do all of them at once or you have to manually reject each time. Notice I've not reject, sent a rejection email to these three people yet. The other feature that I like is being able to add screening questions. Again, not unique, but being able to instantly view the screening questions and make a call is what I like. So let's say I wanted to start at the top of the list and I would say, okay, this person, Sam, um, I will be able to look at their profile and I can see, okay, the screening questions are here. These are the screening questions that I've added. What experience do you have selling SaaS products to SMBs? Um, they've basically left this question empty. 
And then I've said, what experience do you have with sales quotas? And they've said one year. So in my mind, the, the screening questions, which I recommend are very simple. You make them very simple uh, and relevant to the role. This is, you know, software sales and quotas. So those are the only two questions. Make it very easy, make the barrier to entry very low, but have a high bar for measuring. So I can see this is where the, the resume is. Um, I can see, okay, you know what? They've not even spent any time in answering this question. I've only asked two questions. They've asked for a resume. I'm going to pass on this. And this time, rather than hit previous, I'm going to go next. I'm going to look at the next candidate. Uh, and I'm going to say, okay, this is the screening question. What experience do you have selling SaaS products? I have four years experience selling project manager software to SMBs across North America and the UK. Great. You're telling me how many years experience that you have, what experience in terms of product and also your market. And then what experience do you have sales quotas? I've held sales quotas for the last two positions in my current position and some details. You know what? This candidate um, has answered the, the screening questions. I'm already, you know, I can see they've got good sentence structures and, um, you know, they've used capital letters. Let's say you review their resume. Great. They're in your time zone, your city, your country. I'm going to go to recruiter screen. I can then go to uh, Andrew and let's protect the, these are again a demo account so I've not filled this in but let's say Andrew wasn't a fit but you know Anna had a great screening question a good resume again uh, we could just easily move Anna to recruiter screen now now I now that I've kind of looked at all of these applicants I can now see all of these are now unbolded and I can just basically select all and send a you know rejection email to these individuals so reject after resume review preview uh, and then send i can also i i didn't click archive but i can um archive all those individuals as well and say that you know they were underqualified or whatnot and um, so that is what i call rapid application review because the the uh, the ability to re review screening questions very quickly and move on or move people into different pipelines is the feature that I used a lot. Now, if I go to interviews, I will be able to see that for those account manager roles, the, the people that are in now recruiter screen, which were Anna, Sam and Amanda, I can email them and say I would like to set up an interview with those individuals. So those were the people that I pulled out. And that is, you know, you know, when you've got 200 applicants and you want to review 50 at a time and reject 50 at a time, um, that feature makes it a, a dream to use, in my opinion. So that was just a very quick overview of some of the favorite features. It was kind of instant visibility of being able to see pipelines across teams um, and then also instant communication or, or kind of being able to communicate across departments, you know, across team members, across uh, roles, and then the way that I view applications. Now, the, the third feature that I showed you, I went over it quite quickly. If anyone out there is recruiting for scale and wants, you know, a, a, a bit more of information of how, I, how we can help set that up to make it uh, easy for your team or yourself to screen rapidly without losing your place. Happy to give you a demo. Um, if you like these features or have any questions, uh, feel free to throw some in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Um, I plan to do some more videos on, on Lever. It's one of my favorite ATS systems. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If any of you even got this far, cheers.